Welcome fellow crypto addicts to another project analysis on the Polkadot parachain slot auctions and this time we're taking a look at three projects there are Centrifuge, Hydrodex and Interlay. But before I get into the details of the projects um, let me quickly point out to you that this video is not financial advice and that you should always do your own research before investing into anything. And now we're in the fight for uh, parachain slot 8, so uh, parachain slot number 7 will go to Composable Finance. They were leading the auction 100% um, of the time. And now we're going into 8, uh, into, uh, yeah, into auction number 8. And there um, we will see, um, probably see Centrifuge uh, or Hydra Dex or Interlay. Um, taking the win here and most probably um, it will 4 million dots will be needed to win slot number 8. And now let's get into the details. Here we have the um, three projects starting with Centrifuge. A uh, sister project is Alt Alt Air, and they have already um, secured a Kusama parachain slot. And um, what are they doing? They're in the field of asset digitalization, so they want to um, um, put real world assets uh, on the blockchain, um, so to say. And um, yeah, you can um, enable off chain assets to access uh, financing through DeFi, so that's their, their main. Um, value proposal. They have received two Web3 Foundation grants and are backed by 16 um, bigger investors. Um, compared to that, we have Interlay um, with its sister project Kintsuji. Um, they have um, also already um, secured a Kusama parachain slot. They're in the field of DeFi and what they want to do is they want to connect cryptocurrencies with major DeFi networks and their first product is InterBTC. It's a one-to-one -one Bitcoin backed asset and this asset is fully collateralized, interoperable and censorship resistant. Um, they have received uh, two Web3 Web Foundation grants as well and they have 17, uh, seven investors um, backing them. And um, then we have Hydra Dex with the sister project um, Basilisk, who has also already secured a Kusama parachain slot. They're as well in the operating in the field of DeFi. And what they're what they want to do is um, they're a cross-chain liquidity protocol. Um, they uh, want to offer multi-asset liquidity pools like the Hydra Dex Omni Pool. So normally in liquidity pools you only have two assets. Um, what Hydra Dex is doing, they want to open uh, liquidity pools with more than two assets. Um, this um, is already done by Curve Finance. Um, so they're doing something that's very similar to them. Um, yeah, so from uh, if we compare the value proposals of the three projects, um, I, in my opinion, Centrifuge has a very strong uh, value proposal here. Um, yes, great utility that they bring into the Polkadot uh, network, and also they got the most investors backing them and also received two by three foundation grants. This doesn't mean that the other projects have a bad uh, value proposal, but in my opinion, Centrifuge is leading the fight here. Coming now to the uh, Phenomics, um, we are talking about the CFG token for Centrifuge, the Inter token for Interlay, and the HDX token for Hydra DAX. And um, we see that the um, CFG token has uh, inflation of around 3%, and the Inter token has inflation of of around 2%, but it is to note here that the interlay actually doesn't have a maximum supply. Um, they have an unlimited supply, but they wanna uh, bring 1 billion tokens um, to the market in the, within the first four years um, of their operations. And Hydrodex here with a 10 billion token supply. Um, coming now to the allocation schedule, um, we see they're all very balanced, um, starting with Centrifuge, they're um, um, giving out the highest percentage share for parachain rewards, so 15.3%, whereas the others 
both give out 10%. Um, the team of Centrifuge has around 12% um, of token supply and the rest is more or less equally split up between investors for liquidity programs and reserve and development functions. Um, for InterBTC, we have 10% for the team, another 10 for investors, and then 35-35 for liquidity and reserve and development, which is a really a quite uh, good allocation in my opinion. It's very balanced, it makes sense to me. Um, Hydrodex is very heavy on the uh, liquidity program side, so it's also something very good. So they are um, injecting, or they have reserved a lot of liquidity for um, providing to the projects in the in their operation, which is um, makes sense for um, uh, DEX, um, for uh, yeah. Uh, exchange, um, a decentralized exchange operating, so they need to incentivize their uh, pools with their HDX tokens, so there's a lot there reserved for that. So that's uh, quite fine, and then we have 10% for parachain rewards and 7.5 and 7.5 for team for team and investors, which is also fine. So allocation-wise, um, all projects have uh, allocation, there is nothing to worry about. Um, Personally, um, I would favor the interlay allocation schedule, but also the Hydra deck schedule is quite good. But again, they don't take much of each other. Okay, coming now to the um, rewards you can expect when you uh, put one dot into the crowd loan. So um, the minimum reward is 3.3 CFG token, 3.5 inter. Uh, token and 12.5 HDX tokens, but obviously um, you will get uh, substantially more than that as the minimum allocation you will only get if the crowd loan is maxed out, which at this point in time is probably not the case for any of those three projects. But what can you expect for Centrifuge? So I am calculating with around 15 CFG tokens if the uh, amount of DOT to be logged um, to win this auction is at around the four, four uh, million uh, dot mark. Um, for the same assumptions, there you will get 25 inter tokens for one dot and 25 HDX tokens. But here <laughs> I have to note that HDX has a very complicated um, um, reward allocation schedule. So if you would have contributed a little earlier and um, you would have received around 280 HDX and this is quite a substantial difference. <laughs> this is more than 10 times that much and if you put in 280 HDX then the rewards for Hydra are quite um, quite good. If you only um, get the 25 HDX you almost get no rewards so if anyone wants to contribute to Hydra DAX, um, that train is gone. Please um, uh, do yourself a favor and don't uh, contribute to that project anymore as the rewards are really quite low. Mm. Um, if you're interested uh, in how their rewards are stru structured, um, just um, check out their their um, homepage. Um, but um, yeah, for now it just makes don't, doesn't make sense to contribute to um, Hydra DAX anymore. But then again, they're also not trying, actually not trying to secure um, slot number eight. They're um, they're um, targeting to a win by slot number nine, and that's why uh, also their uh, reward uh, rewards um, went down dramatically after they um, have secured what is in their opinion enough to win slot number nine. Um, coming to a special reward, so for Centrifuge you'll get a 5% referral bonus. If you use the, um, uh, the referral link in the description below, I would uh, greatly appreciate it. And also you will get another 5% if you have contributed to the Altair um, Kusama crowd loan. Um, for Interlay uh, you get uh, also 5% in referrals if you use the uh, referral link in the description below. And another 2.5% if you have contributed to Kintsuji before. They all, all of them don't offer any failure protection. Um, that's fine, it's okay. Uh, now coming to the price analysis. And here I really had a hard time assessing the market cap that these projects will have uh, once they trade it. And, and I didn't want to get any mistakes there, so I uh, 
chose uh, same market cap for all of them because as they are um, very similar these projects I think that is a fine assumption that uh, one can take um, to minimize um, uh, yeah wrong inputs here um, probably centrifuge will have the biggest market cap of them maybe by a little but um, yeah who knows that I calculated with around 300 million for all of these projects I think that's a fair amount and we see the sister project of interlay uh, is already trading and they have a market cap of around 250 million so makes sense that interlay is a bit bigger than them I'm coming to the circulating supply so for centrifuge there will be around uh, 35 percent of the tokens uh, circulating uh, within the first year for interlay it's uh, almost 50 percent and for hydro dex it's 25 uh, percent so um, in that aspect um, you want to look for uh, the smallest circulating supply at in the, within the first year or two years of the token um, Coming now to the price expectations. So if we're looking at centrifuge, um, we see that, uh, or, or I assess that it would make sense for centrifuge to start trading at around $1.50 and be maximum value $2.90, which then would leave a centrifuge with a market cap between 220 million to 430 million, which I think this makes sense. Um, for interlay, um, we expect one token, or I expect one token to trade at around 30 cents and at the maximum at 85 cents. And this would give this project a market cap of between 150 and 425 um, million US dollars, which I also think is achievable and actually is quite a uh, widespread here. So, oh, um, yeah. For Hydrodex, um, the worst case scenario um, is, uh, is uh, yeah, about 3 cents per uh, HDX token and this number I got from the from the um, project themselves um, they somehow calculated this as the worst case scenario um, obviously this would only lead to a market cap of around 65 million and it will probably be a bit bigger than that if it will be 425 million um, is to be uh, seen but probably not in the first year so of, after time yeah I think Hydrodex can can reach um, quite uh, a higher market cap um, if their products are good but um, I think for the for the first um, year or two years um, after they start operating it's um, unlikely they will reach the maximum here um, yeah, so um, you're probably um, looking at the DEX token price at around the 10, 10 cent um, mark here. I could get with 12 cent, but it's really hard to say for this kind of token. And uh, yeah, lastly, we take a look at the social sentiment. So Centrifuge has the uh, most amount of followers and the uh, best GitHub activity. I mean, same as Hydrodex. Uh, but uh, a lot of um, community behind them and uh, the, uh, the project um, um, team is uh, uh, yeah uh, quite good uh, so and the sentiment around this project is also quite fine so Alt Air already um, made its news uh, no good news um, so far so I am um, putting this I assess the social sentiment at around six. Um, Interlay is, uh, is in the worst position here. They have uh, only few Twitter followers, few Telegram users, and their GitHub activity is also not um, that great. So 3.5 for Interlay and a five for Hydrodex. I mean, they got quite some followers and a good GitHub activity. So I think five is is uh, good to, to um, rate this year. And now let's see in the end what can we expect. So in my opinion the leading project here is Centrifuge. You can get around $32 of rewards for one dot contributed and also one dot is currently at around $25-$27. Um, that's quite a good um, amount um, you can you can get for your, for your dots. Uh, the sentiment is positive. Uh, definitely and that's why I rate centrifuge at dollar A. In my opinion it's the best project out of those three. If you want to contribute to it feel free to use my referral link below. Um, the 
second best project then would be interlay. The, my sentiment on this is kind of neutral and I think the rewards you can expect are also not that high. I mean it's fine but um, all in all I will rate this a triple B. For Hydro decks, um, yeah well the rewards you can expect um, for if you contribute to this project are quite low so it does not make sense to contribute uh, to Hydro decks now. If you would have contributed earlier and you will get around 280 H decks or I mean it was I think it was between 280 and 200 or something so then the rewards um, were quite good. Um, now with 25 HDX you will get you will get almost nothing so uh, this make no this makes no sense. My sentiment on Hydrodex is um, positive. Um, um, I like the idea of these Omni pools and um, bringing multi-asset liquidity pools to the Parker dot um, network. That's why I also rated this project a triple B. Alright, so that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, feedback, uh, questions, just drop them uh, as comments below. Um, I would love if you give me a thumbs up or support me by using my referral links. And then there's not more left for me to say. Then see you uh, in the next one.